If you want to work in an outdoors land management agency, getting your first job can be really tricky. I know people that just applied to random job postings and got a job and good for them. But for most people, it's probably going to be tricky and frustrating to get that first job in a land management agency. In this video, I'm going to break down hiring paths and different statuses that you can get for different land management agencies to help you get that first job as well as give you some resources that I'm gonna link down in the description for anybody that wants to look further into any of these. Welcome to Ecology Story Mode, the channel where I don't just talk about science, I try to help you get more involved. The first one I'm gonna go over is the path that I used to get into federal work initially, and that's the Public Land Corps. If you're on USA Jobs and you're looking at different jobs, the way that you're gonna be able to find these is by looking for the special hiring authority symbol. It's just gonna be that gray circle and you're gonna actually have to click into links and find Public Land Corps written in the corner. So this one's a little tricky on the application page, but because of how accessible it is, I would say it's a really good one to look into. Public Land Corps is a program that was started by the Bureau of Land Management and it's in the DOI, but since its inception, it's kind of spread out to where now if you're looking at jobs in the Forest Service or something, this is still a relevant program. And the way that I personally came about it was I did AmeriCorps in C, but I actually wouldn't recommend that for other people necessarily because there's no guarantee that you'll get the PLC status. I got lucky and my project work just put me on public lands doing the kind of work that would get me the PLC status through the BLM. For most people, the most reliable way to find these is to look at conservation cores and some sources for where you could find conservation cores is going to be things like Great Basin Institute, um, ACE, SCA. And if you're in a state that doesn't really list or cover some of these, you can find lists online that'll tell you all the conservation cores and every single state has at least one or two. So this program has to do with community service and helping out on public lands and doing conservation work. If you go the conservation core route, especially anything that's funded by AmeriCorps, not only are you going to get stipend pay and not just be volunteering for no money, but you're also going to be able to get an educational reward at the end of the whole process, which is just a nice little added bonus. The second useful pathway to know about when it comes to getting into federal work is the Pathways program, and essentially that's for students and recent graduates, which the actual symbols that are going to denote the two of these programs are going to be the yellow circles, and I'm going to try to put them right up here. And you can actually refine your search to specifically look at these specific positions only. And for any of the student sections, these are internships that you can get during college. Some of them are a year or less, but for the most part, for what I've seen for land management agencies, it's something that you can start when you're an upperclassman and you can just do throughout college. For most programs, as long as you maintain half-time student status, you're going to be good. So some people just do almost full-time hours in these jobs, working for land management agencies while they're students in college. I only have a couple cool hacks for these kinds of job postings, and that's to go through the Forest Service events page, which will essentially give you um, announcements that tell you, hey, this is when the student internships are opening up. This is when the recent graduate programs are opening up. The recent graduate section is essentially you just get a less competitive hiring status if you're two years out of a college and they'll put you into an internship program and teach you the job from ground up. The second thing I would look at is figuring out if you're at a land grant school. Essentially, these are schools that are funded through the USDA, or at least partially funded through the USDA, and they have positions open for students to do internships through the federal government while they're in school. Two major agencies here are gonna be the Agricultural Research Service and the Forest Service. So instead of just having to shop around on the internet and looking for job postings, one thing you can do is if you're in an area and you're going to school already, you can just reach out to somebody. And if you don't go to the actual college, when I was in school, I didn't go to a land grant school but I was across a lake from a land grant school and we actually had people that were student interns for the USDA over on the other side of the lake and they would just commute as well as sometimes there's just satellite sites so even if you're not at one of those schools you might be closer than you think third status is gonna be direct hire authority and depending on the types of postings that you're looking at this might help you circumnavigate the whole process as far as going through USA Jobs and looking at different jobs that way. Direct Hire Authority or DHA is just another program that started by the Bureau of Land Management where you have to essentially just do 11 week summer internships uh, that you can do during college or right outside of college. When you do these programs, you get to create a profile with your resume, your experience, what you're going to school for. And so instead of having to go through the whole application and job creation process for employers, they can just reach out directly to you when they have positions available. If you're looking for these positions, you can go through the Bureau of Land Management website and they have breakdowns that show you by position, by job type in every single state. And if you're not familiar with the BLM, it's 
mostly on the west coast so pretty much think of colorado west that's where you're going to be able to find these however like the public land cord this is something that can extend outside of just the blm for where you can get hired an easy source to find some more of these internships would be going through the american conservation experience or ace and that's another place i'd shop around so if you go on that website just type in the keywords direct hire authority and it should help you find some postings I hope that you're one of the lucky ones. I hope you don't need to do any of this and you just apply to something on USA Jobs and get your first federal job. If you're a college student, I hope that there's something helpful in here because you're at the point where this could make the biggest impact in your career. Good luck on your job search. Like this video, subscribe to my page if you like stuff like this and have a nice day.